Welcome back to the show. Big round of applause, please. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Please join me to welcome my guest on the show, current Miss Bikini Island, Rebecca, on the show, please. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Rebecca. How, How are, are you? you? Good to see you. Good to, good see, good to you. see you. Thank you very much. Please Thanks have a seat. Me. You're welcome. How are you doing, Rebecca? Good, good. Still in talk. I'm here, yeah. <laughs> I want to say congratulations for you be, being the Miss Bikini uh, Island. Uh, can you tell us about it? What prompted you to go into this all, um, you know, beauty competition and all of the rest? Yeah, um, well, actually, it was quite a modern way how it happened. Um, they liked my picture on Instagram, so I had a look, found out what it was about. I got in contact, and they asked me to send out an application. And before I knew it, they told me I was a finalist. Wow. So, yeah, I was straight into it. Wow. And was modeling something you wanted to really do from day one? or is Yes, this... it was always something that I dreamed of doing. I'm only five foot six, so I'm not particularly particularly tall, so I always thought that would hold me back. Um, sure. You know, I just didn't have the confidence before, but hmm. Miss Bikini Ireland really gave me that confidence, so wow. hopefully I'll be able to propel myself further now. Good. And what is involved for you to get yourself, you know, in this whole process in terms of becoming part of your competition? How difficult it was? What are the things you have to do to get into it? Uh, well, we had a whole process. We actually filmed uh, for a TV series. Yeah. Um, so every Sunday we were going on, we were filming there. Um, we were doing photo shoots. We were doing kinds of um, press shoots on Grafton Street, the likes mm. of that. And then we had our launch party. Then when the final itself came, we would walk on stage in front of a crowd, which was probably the most nerve-wracking bit. Sure. And then throughout, we had interviews with all of the judges, which were filmed. Wow. And how did you find yourself competing with other you know, contestants like, like yourself? What, 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 I mean, what is involved in that? For me, I mean, everyone was so nice. I feel like sometimes when you do this kind of beauty pageant, everyone there is there for the same thing. So you sure. don't need to be self-conscious, whereas before, I would hate if someone saw me standing doing a photo shoot, but we're all there for the same thing. So I feel like everyone really worked well together, they supported mm. each other, and they were just such a lovely group of girls. Wow, wow. And uh, recently you were in the state as, as well, correct? Yes, I was in the Dominican Republic. Ooh, wow. Yes. So can you tell us a little bit about inside of that? <laughs> yeah, it was, oh, it was just surreal. Like yeah. I really arrived and I was like, oh my God, is this real life? Mm. Um, because we were in, suddenly I was my first time out of Europe, I had two amazing roommates, um, Chantal and Claire. We just, I got so lucky with them, I have to say, they made that experience. Wow. We filmed a lot with Bikini Destinations, an amazing team from LA. Mm. Uh, they brought us on a fun day, we went zip lining, everything like that. And we wow. just had the most amazing 10 days. Mm. It was just surreal. Mm. surreal. And among 20, on, uh, sorry, among about 90 people, I mean, that's yeah. 90 con. Yeah, you came 70, 20, I think. Yeah. yeah. So 70, I, isn't 70, it? 70, yeah. huge. So, yeah, I placed in the top 20. So yeah. that was absolutely amazing. I, like, when I heard it on stage, I just felt like I won. Like, mm -hmm. you know when Ireland plays someone in football? True. And we draw, but we yeah. still kind of feel like we win? <laughs> yeah, true. And um, that's how I felt. And then when I came home, I found out that I actually placed ninth overall. Wow. Which, yeah, still I can't believe. I don't know how that happened because <laughs> the girls over there were something else. Yeah, but, yeah. I yeah. managed to do it somehow. Fair play to you, fair play to you. Now, you're back home now. Uh, what are the other activities you're trying to walk up? Because this is your first ever competition you've ever won in terms yes. of this kind of beauty kind of stuff so what are the areas what are the things you need to put it together to kind of you know put you on that step for you to go to the next level well I'm going to be very selective about um, doing photo shoots sure. like I'd rather have one quality piece of work every four or five months than you know every week something else mm -hmm. I just rather do it that way um, I'll be doing some of the same things that Judy, our winner from last year, did. Yeah, uh, Judy, so, yeah she's yeah. here with us as well, so, so we're going to bring that in. Yeah, yeah New York uh, Couture Fashion Week, Cannes Film Festival. Mm -hmm. And then when I was in Swim City USA, one of the sponsors, EarthCam, he mm. very kindly and surprisingly chose me as his top 10. So we're going to be flown out to Vegas wow. for an industry party with uh, Hollywood producers wow. and the likes That's of that. really good. Good, yeah. good step for you. You're walking out at the moment as well. And you're back to college or you're just sitting in the college? No, work? I finished. I've you graduated. Finished? Yeah. 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 And what did you study? Why you I have a degree in early childhood teaching Very and learning good. and a Very level good. six in event management. So wow. now I'm just going to see where the modeling takes me and I always have that to go back to. Very good. Very yeah. good. Okay, we actually have a uh, phone from our Miss Beck Bikini Island here with us on the show. Please join me to welcome uh, Judith on the show, please. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Judith. Good to see you. Please have a seat. Thank you very much for coming on the show. It's great to have you. 
Janet, congratulations. Last, last year you were the Miss Bikini Island, and this year you're on the show as well. And here is the current Miss Bikini Island. Please, big round of applause for them, please. Thank you very much. Woo! Um, so, Judy, can you tell us about your experience when you first became the Miss Bikini Island? What was it like for yourself? Uh, so, I won, and then I went over to the Mexico to represent Ireland in the international finals. Yeah. From that, then I went to New York Fashion Week in February. I went to Cannes Film Festival, Monaco Grand Prix. Hmm. I was in Wimbledon. I was behind the Royal Family and Centre for it in Wimbledon. Um, I've been like loads of different places throughout the year, like Barcelona, hmm. the Beats, uh, everywhere I went, to, I was VIP guest hmm. everywhere I went. So it's pretty hmm. cool. And what it's like for you when you were to give the crown to Rebecca, who is the current Miss Beckham Island? What's it like for you? It was a great experience getting to be a judge and see all the girls and... Yeah. It kind of brought me back to when I was in the contest and we really loved Rebecca like from day one in her interview. Like she just Very good. had it all so we knew from day one she was the winner. Good, good. And uh, what would be your kind of uh, ad advice you would give to Re Rebecca? Rebecca, because you've got a lot of experience because that, that was you that was there before. Now she's a current title holder. So what would be your kind of uh, experience you want to give to Re Rebecca? Rebecca, why she's, you know, stepping into those uh, steps like you do? Uh, just to take every opportunity, it's only for the year that you have the title, so just to make the most of it, just True. take every opportunity you can and grab the both hands and make the, make the of most it. of it. That's it, that's it. Please, a big round of applause for them, please. Thank you. <laughs> Girls, I want to say thank you both for coming on the show to today. On behalf of Jerry Quest, this is our last episode of the year. We want to wish you guys success in everything you do, especially to yourself. We're currently coming around the corner. We wish you success. And also, Judy, we wish you success in all you do. A big round of applause for all of them, please. Thank you. Thank you. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after this as we have more of the guests on the show. Another person that is the title from Sat FM uh, uh, Radio. We'll be right back. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.